Infinite Flight on PC. It is a thing, and basically it runs through an Android software, okay? So what you're basically doing on your PC is running an Android device. <laughs> That's the easiest way to put it. Let me show you how to get Infinite Flight on PC. And yes, this is, you know, Windows and Mac, because that's going to be asked 101 times. So, what you need to do is go over to um, Google, okay, or Chrome, whatever you have. I'm just using Chrome right now, and I've already searched it up. What you want to search up is Blue Stacks, okay? This is the software that is going to basically run your PC like an Android device. As, as bad as that is, I'm sorry if I... I'm an Apple guy, okay? I'll probably now lose subscribers. But yeah, Bluestacks. You need to go ahead and click on, uh, you know, Bluestacks or type in Bluestacks. And this is what you'll be faced with. Just click on the first link, you know, this one. And you'll be faced with this screen. Bluestacks 5 is the one I downloaded, okay? You, I haven't got the download Bluestacks 4 because that's obviously an older one. But Bluestacks 5 is currently in beta. So I went ahead and, you know, downloaded Bluestacks 5. I don't, I don't know why I'm trying to explain myself, to be honest. But just download one of these two, okay? Download one of these two. Preferably, you know, Bluestacks 5 because that's the one I have and that's the one it's working on for me. So, you're going to click it. And it's going to basically start downloading it down. And obviously, as you can see... It's got a nice fancy blue arrow saying, click to install. Now, I've already installed it, so I'm going to go ahead and launch it and show you guys what it looks like for me. Now, pause the video right there. Before we go any further, guys, go ahead and check out my Instagram. Go and drop me a follow. It'd be greatly appreciated. Moving on, back to the video. So then this is what Bluestack looks like when you open it. You know, it's basically Bluestacks. It's, it's a thing that just allows you to play Android games, right? You can more or less play well, anything on the Play Store, because what it does, it allows you to search the Play Store like you're on your phone. Android is starting. There we go. So that's what it says. Android is starting. And then we're faced with th this blue screen, right? We're just faced with this. And as you can see, once it loads up, it comes up with the Play Store, System and Apps, and Infinite Flight. I've already downloaded Infinite Flight. Now, you won't be faced with this screen straight away. When you do open Bluestacks at first, it will say you need to log in with your Google account. Now, obviously, if you already have Infinite Fly on Android, I presume you'll be able to download it for free. But if you don't, like me, it costs you like 99p or something like that. So it's, it's cheap anyway. It's cheap. So, yeah, I mean, you can't complain, but 99p. But yeah, obviously, what you would do when you're in is you're going to click on Play Store. And it'll bring up this sort of screen. And then you'll search up Infinite Flight or whatever Android game, I guess, you want to play. And then, yeah, you would just, you know, install it and go ahead and open it afterwards. And that's more or less as simple as it is. So let's go ahead and take a look at what, it, what it's like. Here's Infinite Flight. Let's go ahead and click on it now. It will load up like Infinite Flight. Dirt. This is the cool part. I like that. This is so weird seeing Infinite Flight on a, on a PC screen. But then, yeah, you know, we're faced with Infinite Flight itself. You guys are obviously familiar with what this all is. And you can log in with your pro account and fly online or fly all of the aircraft. For the sake of this video, I'm not going to log into my account because I've got my account on my iPad and my phone. And I'm not really going to be playing it on the PC. So that's just a waste of my time. But yeah, you can go in and you can more or less, you know, just scroll up and down with the mouse, go through all of the settings that you normally would, you know, you got your live settings, the account, if you want to, you know, log into your pro subscription account, you can change the audio just like so. Now, obviously, I'm not logging in, so I'm not going to have all of the planes and stuff if, if you was to have a pro account. But for the sake of this, we'll go ahead and use, let's say, a, um, it's so cool you can scroll the mouse, a British Airways, uh, a321 and then obviously we're faced with the uh tap screen to calibrate and start now this isn't going to really matter because you can't really pick up your pc monitor and start tilting it because it doesn't have that and then yeah here we go we are now in infinite flight uh this is this the hard view we can go and flick through the views for example you can see right there we're faced with a bug straight away okay like but there's an issue there of course, you know, it's not going to be perfect. It's not made for a uh, for a PC. But then we can go into the outside of you. Very, very cool. It's more, it's obviously exactly the same as it would be on a mobile device. And you can even use things such as the free cam. So, for example, we're in the free cam now. If I just hold the mouse down and then go to the left somehow. Here we go. There we go. We're now, we're now, <laughs> we're in the free cam. Just zooming across the floor. Obviously, we can then set, you know, the speed brakes. We can then play around with the flap settings. So there's full flaps. Obviously, we're not going to use full flaps to take off those. So we'll set them back to flap setting one. And with that being said, here comes the disappointing part. You can't actually fly very well. You can. You can. Okay, right. You can fly. 
but you can only fly with the trim. <laughs> you can only fly with the trim, and that's the disappointing part. You know, you can't connect a joystick. I've already tried to connect Lifelike Connect um, and that sort of stuff. I haven't tried this on Mac. I know it works on Mac. But. So I've currently got the trim assigned to W and A on the keyboard. And then obviously, we're going to increase the uh, the thrust, the power. We'll put that up to like 100% because why not? And then it's already rotating naturally. Um, obviously, I can trim up and trim down using the keys on the keyboard. As you can see, just like that. You can see the trim just going crazy. Oh, no, 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 no. And <laughs> nothing happened there. I, I don't know how well this is going to work. Uh, I'm going to have to use my mouse to control the throttle. And then the trim, obviously, to control the pitch of the aircraft. Uh, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Bang! There we go. But then, yeah, obviously, there you go. That is the example, uh, you know, and me showing you how to use Infinite Flight on APC. Very, very cool stuff. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And obviously, go and try it for yourself. It's literally completely free unless you don't have Infinite Flight and you have to pay 99p, but that's not a lot at all. So go try it out. It's great fun. If you can get a joystick to work on this, please let me know how because I would definitely love to try and do like a full flight. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did like it, then obviously make sure you slap a thumbs up on it. And until then, I will see you guys as always in my next video or stream.